Although Microsoft Teams has Microsoft Whiteboard built into its online meetings, it does not provide each student with a digital whiteboard yet. However, there is a way to do this within Microsoft Teams. Make sure you stay till the end of the video to see how this could be accomplished. Whiteboard FI is a free website that provides teachers with a class set of digital whiteboards to use with students. It is an excellent tool to provide formative comments in real time with your students and to see their progress, especially useful in remote learning. All you and your students need is an internet connection and an internet enabled device such as a smartphone, tablet or laptop. Creating a digital room for your students can be easily done via the Whiteboard FI's homepage. Select New Class and you can then enter your name, which the students will see in the digital room. There are also a number of settings you can configure for your digital room, such as providing a waiting lobby for students to stay in before you let them into the room. You can also enable students access to upload images to their Whiteboard if needed. The last two features are a welcome addition, especially for slow internet connections. Providing a simple mode will allow better connections when there is a limited bandwidth and therefore makes the annotations on the whiteboard appear quicker. You can also enable a slow mode which disables automatic saving of the whiteboard. This is the perfect option for students with limited or metered internet connections. It is worth noting you are able to configure these settings once the room is open too. Once ready, select Create Class and you will be given a unique room code and a link which you can share with your students through Microsoft Teams meeting chat or through email. If the teacher has enabled the waiting room, students will see a notice stating that they will need to be let in. This will prevent the students from using the whiteboard before you are ready. Also, there is no limit on the number of students that can join the room. However, from the teacher's point of view, you will need to let each student in by selecting Lobby and clicking Accept. This also enables you to check if a student has used an appropriate name and kick them out of the room if they haven't. They will then need to join the room again using the same join code or link. Once you are in, you will see each student's personal whiteboard. You can then view your own whiteboard by clicking on the My Whiteboard tab and start adding to the whiteboard. The students can also view the teacher's whiteboard at the same time as their own by selecting the toggle teacher whiteboard icon. If the viewers have a touch device, they will be able to use a stylus to draw or write. However, if users do not have a touch device, they can use the mouse or use the add text icon to start typing on the canvas. Any additions to the canvas will appear on the students' whiteboard and any work by the students will appear on your overview tab for each student. However, you will need to ask students to deselect any text boxes if they are typing onto the canvas, so they will appear on the Teacher Overview tab. The toolbar has many different features, such as an eraser, shape tools, and inserting images or backgrounds from the device. As the teacher, 
you can push your whiteboard onto the student's whiteboard. This will replace any work on the student's whiteboard with your whiteboard. The students can then edit their own version of your whiteboard. You can alter any of the room settings by clicking on the cog icon. Here you can lock the room, preventing any other students from joining the class and hide names of the students, which is useful if you are sharing your screen with the whole class through Microsoft Teams. If you would like all student whiteboards to be reset, you can select the Clear All Whiteboards link. From the Settings menu, you can also save all the students' whiteboard as a PDF file and insert a suitable header such as the class name with the topic title. However, if you just wanted to save the whiteboard of one student, you could just click on their whiteboard from the My Class tab and select Save Whiteboard from the Actions menu. This has created a new tab with the picture of the whiteboard. You can now right click and save this as an image. Once you have finished using the whiteboards, the teacher can close the room from the settings menu and this will kick all the students out of the room. This will also disable the use of the room code or link the students use to join the class at the start, therefore preventing them from rejoining unsupervised. These whiteboards are perfect for Microsoft Teams online lessons. I have found adding a website tab a quick way to direct students to the website without having to leave Microsoft Teams. Whilst in the team online meeting, the teacher and the students could click on the team icon on the left hand navigation panel and select the tab from the correct channel. The join code can then be given in the meeting chat and the students can then input it to join the room. Click on one of the options here to continue to enhance your teaching and learning and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.